Williams. Oh, Halpin from the side went very early. Maloney, Jada no Halpin have got him. Bruce, his bet's dangerous, but just couldn't get any hook on that. Out on the full, Melbourne's ball. The Demons are winning the quarter. They've kicked three goals to two. Still half the term left to run. You mentioned earlier, Tim, how well they played against the Bulldogs on Friday night and wet weather conditions. So they should give themselves a chance, if they can kick a couple more, of getting back into this contest. Now, free kicks being plucked out. Coming back to Melbourne to Brad Green at half back. Kicked three goals today. Lights are on. Very gloomy. Bruce in space. Now he's got Watts running for him. Uh, he kicked it too far for Watts. Drop mark though by Anderson. Neville Jetta, superb from 60. Kicks to a vacant goal scorer. Is it online? Thornton getting back and forcing it through. That cleans Neville Jetta. Been a couple of times since this rain's come down. He's just enjoying. Look at this. Really clean pickup, clean handball and quality smooth, move, smooth mover. And Anderson has been his opposite. He's uh, lost his clean handling and his confidence. That deflected off the man on the mark. So it wasn't a mark to Trend Gove. McDonald's kick. Russell with the flight. Jetter another chance. And this time he runs it home. And the Ds are having a good corner. There's the little man we were speaking about. I like him. I think he's got some excitement about him. He's clean. Got a good awareness. Applies some tackle pressure. And he's had eight disposals, Dars. And I reckon in the last ten minutes since the rain, he's probably had four or five of them. He's loving these conditions. Neville Jetta. You know what I loved in this passage of play? Smothered off the boot. Now, Scully, most players are saying, oh, quick, I'll just try and bat this forward to do something clever. He took on the responsibility, took the pressure, marked it, went to ground, gave off a handball, set up a goal. So, a free kick, another one. Melbourne's way. So, if they can muster another one here, Melbourne, who knows? Maloney kicks it wide. Morton, on the left boot, tries to pinpoint the pass. Brilliant pick up in the conditions by Sylvia. Rivers just jams it on the boot. High towards j -Mart. And he pushes Jacobs out before the ball was anywhere near the contest. And the free kick to Jacobs. And he's given away 50. And that That's a bad one because the momentum behind them was growing. Yeah, spot on, Tim. Six free kick against to Mark j -Mart. And it's a momentum shifter. Margin 26 points. If Melbourne kick the next goal, you just never know. Judd wrestling the hand pass forward. Morton getting back, losing his feet. Judd sweeps it back into play. Carlton sensing an opportunity and needing to stop the rot. Judd has another go. Gibbs couldn't get it back to Judd. Have a throw in. <laughs> well, they defended well there, Melbourne. They did. Morton's handball towards the boundary line. He did it. He almost judged it perfectly. It just needed another roll and it was over. But it was enough. And he didn't give the free kick away. So margin 26 points. Carlton deep into attack. Cruiser. Maloney. Morton. Noise looks pretty casual. Kick to McDonald is a good one. The overlap kick. provided by Jones. Now he's away and have a has a bounce on the slippery surface. Dangerous kick inside, but it's effective. Sylvia. Oh, that wasn't a great oh. kick towards Jetta. Oh, gee, free kick he never had to give away there. Poor effort. He's really lost it, Anderson, since the rain came down. And this man has gone the other way, Tim, as you pointed out. Jetta has uh, really started to just shine and be clean in the wet. Jones drives it deep towards the goal square. Oh, green almost. Sylvia snap it goal and it's bouncing it's bouncing it's a goal Melbourne back in town that was back in town <laughs> yes margin back to 20 and all of a sudden they're exactly that some concerns for Brett Ratton and I made the point uh, a little earlier that uh, the rain for me provides opportunity 
because you've got different conditions got uh, a whole different game style and if you adjust quicker you get an advantage Melbourne have adjusted quicker Carlton led by 45 points early in this quarter Melbourne are now within 20 and the momentum of the game is very much with the Demons. Jamar went too early. Simpson. Garlet. Just squeezing a hand pass forward. Scully covers it. It's very hard to handle at the moment, though. Bruce, little hand pass to Gisbert. Has to go and mop it up now. Grimes. One on one here. Scotland. Wiley Customer. It's a to him. I thought it might have been against him for a shepherd. It goes against Trengove, and Scotland's experience wins him the free. Just Trent Grove grabbed a little bit of the arm there, so free kick uh, picked up by the umpire. And Carlton could really do with a goal now to steady things down. Grimes goes for the boundary and gets it. Yes, he does. So still six and a half minutes to go in this quarter. The Demons have kicked four of the last five, and they've put themselves right in the game. Ball to the front of the pack. Gisbert's Jones, who's come into it as well. Bruce, Grimes. Morton off a step. Gained some good meterage, but Carlton have got the numbers. And a good result for Melbourne in the end. It was three on one against Miller. Boundary throw in. How enormous has Jordan Gisbert's been in this game? Here he is. It's his second game. 26 disposals, 10 hard ball gets, four clearances on debut. He's had 25 which is seven more than the next best on the ground in his second up game. Unbelievable performance. Great tackle by Bruce on Murphy and another boundary throw in. Very slight man too when you see him on ground level in all seriousness, Darst. There's not much to Jordan Gisbert. No, Even you look like Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> next to him. Yeah, that is saying something. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying he's reasonably <laughs> light on compared to some of the big boys out there. Bartram. Touch ball. Wade attacks. It was held a long time. Should have got a free kick. Didn't. Now Davey. Davey from just the attacking side of the wing looking for bait, kick wide. And not in a, in a very open forward line there, Melbourne. Would have been a better place to kick it to a more central location. At the start of this game, they gave away soft free kicks, Melbourne. They had little things go against their way. Not great discipline all of a sudden. Little decisions going their way. They're winning the 50-50 contest. They're adjusting to the conditions better. They are right in this match. Hadley's ball for the Blues. Gives to Waite. Goes for territory, but goes straight to Morton. And the Demons will keep on coming. And he puts it into the corridor for Rivers. Out the back to Grimes. Uh -oh. Back to Rivers under the pump. Jones there to lend a hand. Simpson's got him. Maloney. And the Demons advance again. Important play this. Bait arrived, but Walker cool at the back. Simpson should be first there. But he'll have company, and he'll have the line. Maloney... Takes him to the line, so a throw in right in front of Mark Howe. What are you, Howie? 65 kilos ringing wet. <laughs> About 87 these days, Tim. <laughs> Jamar in front. Tries to get it to the back. Murphy. More smothered Maloney. Murphy goes again. This time Watts in his way. Murphy a third time. Scrambles at 10 metres to his side's advantage. Warnock does well. Rivers. Earns a free kick. Off to Grimes. Now he can go across to the opposite pocket. And marks taken by Morton. Directing traffic from half back. He kicks towards Trengove. Trengove and Scotland, keep your feet. Good tussle this. Well done, Scotland. Does he help? Let it go, umpire, and he does. Good battle out on the southern wing. The cavalry arrive. Robinson. Well done, Trengove. An extra effort. Ball tracking to the line. And a boundary throw in. Four and a half minutes left in the quarter. And the Blues by 20 points. It's a good contest there before, Chris. As you called Scotland and give... Um, uh, on that particular contest, you said, keep your feet. And they both did. It was Trengrove, the name I'm trying to spit out. And uh, in these conditions, it's such a good skill, isn't it? If you can stay on your feet, you will gain a massive advantage. Another rock <laughs> infringement. Been a lot of those...